Welcome back to This Week in Video Games, and it's Tuesday, the 22nd of March 2022, and that means it's the weekly reset in Destiny 2, where the content rotates, the vendors and the challenges reset, and we got a chance for new content to be added into the game. Well, stay tuned for all the latest info related to Season of the Risen, the weekly rituals and playlists, plus Banshee's weekly weapons, and what's in the Eververse store this week. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Let's check out the new content for the week. So the Vow of the Disciple Raid challenges have been added to the game. The first one this week is called Swift Destruction, and you can find that in the Acquisition. And that is the first encounter in the raid. And if you successfully complete that challenge, then you get an extra chest as a reward at the end of the encounter. Also new content this week, legend version of PsyOps Battlegrounds have been added. You can see the legend version here, and then you've got the regular good old PsyOps Battlegrounds there. If you want to jump into the new content, this is the node for you. It looks like if you do two of those, you get a powerful tier one drop. Well, it's not here at the moment, but Trials of Osiris is going to be back on Friday. That will be around until next Tuesday. So with Iron Banner, that was last week. And if you're missing Trials of Osiris, well, don't worry. It's going to be back this weekend. We're checking in on the Nightfall this week. So this week is the Fallen Sabre. And that one is found on the Cosmodrome. The weapon is either going to be the Plug One or the Palindrome. But we'll let you know a little bit later in the comments what weapon is dropping from the Nightfall this week. We'll check out these seasonal activities with Season of the Risen, where you can check out the Psyops Battlegrounds. Good time to jump in this week, especially with the new Legend Mode Psyops Battlegrounds. Also, now is a really good time to start getting into the Season of the Risen title. As you can see, I've got loads of objectives to complete myself. You can find this on your Triumphs tab. Go back to that. Go to your Triumphs tab, go down here, and there you will find the Season of the Risen title. Also, one thing that's gone under the radar a little bit this season is the Vox Obscura exotic mission. Of course, you can get that exotic grenade launcher from it, and you get a pinnacle piece of loot each week. But also, there's some really good lore that changes week over week in that mission. So if you're looking for the latest on Callus, jump into this mission. Let's check out week five of the seasonal challenges, and I can't believe the Witch Queen has been out for over a month now. So really, really enjoyed it so far and really enjoying Season of the Risen. Let's check out the Week 5 Seasonal Challenges. So we've got Legendary Psyoperative 1. We complete a Psyops Battleground on the EDZ on Legend Difficulty. We've got Light Reclaimer 1 as well. So defeat Light Bearers... Sorry, defeat Light Hoarders in the Psyops Battleground on the EDZ. Then we've got Voices Silence. So complete the Vox Obscura Exotic Quest. I'm going to be able to collect that one right now. We've also got Dangerous Conduct, so acquire the Reckless Endangerment Seasonal Weapon. So that is the shotgun, and a very, very good shotgun as well. Also, we've got Into the Void, so defeat Guardians, and bonus progress granted for defeating opponents with Void abilities. Guessing that one is in the Crucible. And then we've got Besting the Worst, so defeat Hive and Scorn, bosses in Strikes or in Vanguard playlists. Well, let's head on over to the Throne World and check out the Witch Queen reset items for the week. We've got a new weekly mission. This one is the Last Chance. That is the seventh mission. And also remember, the good source of Ascendant Alloy for weapon crafting. Also, we've got the Wellspring. It's an attack day today. Get this one out. I just want to see the rewards here. But today is the Come to Pass. So... That is really useful if you're looking to get one of those exotic glaives. But today is a really good day to jump in if you're looking for that red bordered come to pass. To do three wellspring activities, you get a powerful tier one drop. And if you complete one on a higher difficulty, you will get some pinnacle gear. Also worth noting for the weekly mission as well, do a weekly mission, get a powerful tier one drop. And if you get a 100k score or better, you will get some pinnacle gear. We've got the altar of reflection insight here. Also, we've got the Altar of Reflection Catalyst. Well, I think I didn't do mine last week. That may be just me needing to catch up on the Altar of Reflection. 
We got the preservation mission as well, which opened up after the raid. If you do that mission, you will get a pinnacle drop. We got the Vow of the Disciple, of course. And here you can find that challenge, Swift Destruction. So it's a really, really good raid, and I would definitely recommend jumping in. I did it for the first time at the end of last week, and it's absolutely fantastic. Let's check out the playlists and the pinnacles for the week, starting off with the Vanguard. The Nightfall this week is the Fallen Sabre, and you can find that on the Cosmodrome. The weapon this week is most likely the Plug One or the Palindrome, but I'll let you know in a few minutes, down there in the comments, what the weapon is for the week. Checking out strikes for the weeks, or the Vanguard Ops as they're now known. This week is Arc Sins, so put on your Arc subclass, do three strikes, and you will get some pinnacle gear. Checking out Crucible for the week. So last week we had Iron Banner, that has now gone away. This week, Trials is back. The rotating playlist this week is Clash. If you do three matches, you will get some pinnacle gear. Check out Gambit for the week. I do believe this week is double infamy, so this is a good time to jump into Gambit, though some may argue with you as Gambit is a little bit flaky this season. You do have the freelance Gambit mode, and you can always do three games in here, and you will get some pinnacle gear. Check out our vendor friends in the tower, so do eight bounties, get a powerful tier one drop and some bright dust. We've got the Drifter with Gambit, Got Banshee 44, the Gunsmith. Lord Chax with Crucible. And also Zavala 2. I did notice last week that the Prophecy Dungeon has now been moved, so it's not in the tower. It used to be down here in the tower. It has now been moved over to the Legends tab. So if you were looking for that Prophecy Dungeon, and you should be because it is a really excellent piece of content, well, that has been moved to the Legends tab. Well, we are in the tower. Let's head on over to Banshee44. See if he has any potential god roll weapons for us this week. First of all, we've got the spoiler alert. That one is a kinetic sidearm. With feeding frenzy and unrelenting. I think I'm going to pass on that one. Next up, we've got the Perseus D. That is a scout rifle. It was a tunnel vision and vorpal weapon. A pretty good roll. I would pick that one up. That is really, really good. Well, next up, we've got the Annual Skate. This one goes with Outlaw and Dragonfly. That is an excellent PvE roll. Definitely recommend picking up that hand cannon. Next up, we've got the Ogmar PR6. It comes with Demolitionist and Dragonfly. Again, another good PvE roll. That Pulse Rifle. And then we've got the Typhon GL5 Demolitionist and Frenzy. Another pretty good PvE roll. Then we've got Eternity's Edge. That one comes with Tireless Blade and Surrounded. I do think you've probably got the class-specific swords as well. A couple of good rolls this week. So Tunnel Vision and Vorpal Weapon on the Perseus D. And then we've got Outlaw and Dragonfly for the Annual Skate. These two, definitely think about picking those up. So that is Banshee's Weekly Weapons. Next up over to the Eververse store and see what Tess has for us for Bright Dust this week. First of all, we've got a shader, and that is Lucid. Be nice. Quite like that one. We've got the Dito Capsule Entrance. Not too bad at all. Next up, we got the Constellation Tracer. That is awesome. Love it. Then we got the Canopus Trireme. Strange name. Stranger looking. All on the back. Check out the rest of the Bright Dust items for the week. We've got the Stasis Projection. Have an ornament here for the Galahorn. 
Indeed. Got elect of the empty bond. Do. We got the Taran sidecar. Wow, look at that. Veneer finish. Got the off road shell. We got Tada, that is an emote. <laughs> that. Amazing. Also, we got spring showers. That one is an exotic emote. I see that one. <laughs> it looks very sad. Okay, we got the Siva Emergence. Cool. Harpy's Cry. Got the Plesiohedral State. Ooh, sexy. We've got Trinity. This one is a shader. A shader that I don't have. There's a reason I don't have this shader. <laughs> Look at that. Never know. Might like it in the future. May as well get it. And then we've got the Copper Band. What kind of monstrosity is this? Next up, let's check out the raids for the week. First of all, going over to the Vault of Glass. Check out the weekly challenge here. So we've got Wait For It. And if you do the Master Mode, you will get the Time Loss Weapon. This week it is the Vision of Confluence. Head on over to Europa. Check out the Deepstone Crypt. This week's challenge is Of All Trades. Finally, heading on over to the moon. The Garden of Salvation Raid. This week's challenge is Leftovers. Well, that is it for the weekly reset information on the 22nd of March 2022. I think the big news this week is the raid challenges in the Vow of the Disciple Raid. So good luck if you're jumping into the raid and you decide to do the raid challenges. So loads of really, really good loot in that raid. So I definitely recommend jumping in. I think that's about it for this week, so I hope you have a good week in Destiny 2, whatever you get up to, and let me know down in the comments what you're chasing this week. It'd be really, really good to hear from you. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching and for more Destiny 2 content like this. Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon.